What's up? What's up? Good morning, guys. Welcome to DraftKings Daily Fantasy Basketball segment for April the 29, 2019. I'll go by Invisible ZFS. Anyway, guys, today's my birthday. So uh, let's go ahead and do what I do, which is jump to the selections when it is two games, or uh, what I call the main ingredient of the show, where I want to give you guys my cheap play, my star, and of course, my three core players. So three core players, the cheap play, and the star of the segment. All right, guys? So hopefully you guys did good. Me, I did really good on my picks. Really did good, except for, I guess, Chris Paul could have been better, but regardless it was a low score and i did really good so that's what i'm looking for and i'm looking forward on a big day to have a great night all right uh so let's go ahead and jump to uh zk website where i'm gonna give you guys those players all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and start my cheap play and that will be amino amino will be my cheap play why because uh first of all it's only 4.3k and now we all have uh Let's go to uh, Portland real quick. We have Kente, he's questionable. So there's a chance he could miss the game. Even if he does play the game, he might not be uh, fully recovered from that shoulder, which most likely will give Amino a little bit more minutes. And Amino also had it, if you check his, uh, that he really played four games against them this year, and I believe he played four games against them this year, uh, in the regular season, and he actually have average about 10 fantasy points. So at 4.3k, if he can give us anything between 25 and plus, that would be great at that price, especially when in the playoff fantasy points are harder to come. So Amino will be my cheap play, guys. All right. So Amino is the cheap play. And as far as my second, I will as far as my first core play, I'm gonna go with this. Uh, this thing always comes up when I'm doing the video. Mills up at that price will be my first co play. I mean, at 4.8k, I will definitely play him because we have two guys that are 9.8k or 9.7k and above. So you gotta have you, gotta have you one of them. So Mills up will definitely actually we have three guys. You know, we have the two centers and of course the point guard. All right, so definitely Millsap will be there. I, I know uh, the last three games hasn't been good, but I expect him to have actually better series than uh, than his last one, especially in the last three games when he has been playing good. So I can see him against uh, Portland a little bit better because Portland he should be able to play much better, a little stronger than the guys in that position that gonna go against him so and inside also can be defensively be really good so Millsap will be my first core player alright as far as my second core player guys ah uh, you know my next two core players it's, you know I think really hard about them but because like you know, between okay let's go you know, I was thinking more or oh, because honestly, I really like Philly as a start tomorrow. As a start tomorrow, yes, I do. I like them as a start tomorrow. And the fact that I don't want to have too many Philly in those five players, I decided to go the other way and go with more here but they don't go with uh, Butler. But Butler is a guy I really I want to play, but I will go with more here as my i'm gonna play my two card as my second core play so uh more will be that uh more average will be third i believe about 33 and but average about 34 but i think but they will bounce back but i can see i don't see uh more anybody starting him if he gets the minutes that he's been getting i expect him to get us at least 30 tennis points here uh which i believe but they will get too but I want to go with Maury here over Butler, all right? And uh, you can still play Butler in that lineup after the five players, but you have enough to put Butler in there if you want to. So my third core player, guys, I will go with Ben Simmons. 
just like Ben Simmons is in the first game in the last series where he didn't play too good and his price went down. I expect Ben Simmons to bounce back. I'm not saying he's gonna bounce back for 50 fantasy points, but anything in the 40s, I'd say for 7k would be a great way. Would be a great way to start that. So Ben Simmons, uh, as bad as we thought he played, he still had 32 fantasy points. So and we expect him to be better than that. He only take eight shots and he went seven for eight. So I'm expecting expecting him to get a little bit more aggressive and take a little bit more shots, right? And you know, and of course get a little bit more assists. That was his, it was assists so far in the playoff, I believe. Yes, it was. So Ben Simmons is my third core player as far as my star. Whew. All right. Uh, believe it or not, that wasn't hard for me at all. All right, uh, and it's probably not who you guys think I'm gonna go with. I'm going with Joel Embiid here. I expect Joel Embiid to get me at least 60 fantasy points here. So, yes, so you guys see one of the reasons I didn't want to get Butler because I would have three people in that lineup from Philadelphia. All right, but Ben, I mean, Embiid is my star, and I expect him to get 60 fantasy points here. So, uh, the lowest I can see, I can see him get is like about 55. So Joel Embiid is my guy. I expect the game to stay close, and I expect Joel Embiid to bounce back with uh, 60 fantasy points here. So, um, but anything between the way the playoffs go, anything between 50 and up would be great. But I'm expecting to get a little bit more than 50. So because of that, I'm gonna go with him. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, good luck. I uh, appreciate you guys. And uh, whew, it's about three more days left for me before I travel. So, again, guys, I appreciate you guys. Good luck. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please don't spend money that you guys cannot afford to lose. And I'm out.